It is a great pleasure to sit here and bring to your knowledge and awareness what this Marathon Mizar Spray that you have probably heard so much about is truly about. And of course, today, I'm not going to be bringing this information to you alone. Uh, we have some of the stakeholders, some of the people who have been involved behind the scenes, both here and all over the world. And during the, um, for the course of this press conference, you will get to know more and you will get to know why you should anticipate what the Marathon Mizar Spray is set to bring to you this year. Before we go on, of course, as is our way, we would like to start with an opening prayer. And of course, to take that opening prayer will be the Managing Director of Dove Television, Pastor Dele Oke. Thank you. Please, let's pray. Eternal King of Glory, we acknowledge you as the author, the God of Marathon Messiah Spirit for the past 10 years. As we celebrate these 10 years, Father, at the Alpha and the Omega, Prove yourself. Concerning this press conference, we ask, O Lord, that your counsel and your counsel alone will prevail. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And on that note, we are back. This year, the Marathon Missile Spirits gets into its 10th edition. And it is um, something worth your time, something worth any investment you can make with your time. And of course, with the array of ministers this year, one tip I can give you before we bring so much information to you is that we are going to be having 150 worship ministers at least, and that will be over 30 participating countries. It has been an upward growth. It has been an upward curve since its inception from 70 hours, and now we're looking at 79. So you pay attention throughout this press conference. Your, your most burdening questions will get answered. And I can tell you that those questions for every answer you get here today, they are as authoritative as they come because of these amazing stakeholders that I have here. And of course, as you saw when we took the opening prayer, the managing director of Dove Television, Pastor Dili Oke. Once again, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. It is good to have you here with us. Thank you. And uh, we also have the project coordinator of Marathon Messiah's Praise, Pastor Femi Oye Tunde. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. You're welcome, sir. And we have the Intercontinental Music Director of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Kunle Ajayi. Thank you very much. You're yes, welcome. and uh, of course, uh, the last but not the least is the personal assistant to the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Oluagbe Miliki Adeboye. Thank you for allowing me in. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And uh, of course, though not stakeholders, we have uh, quite a number of people who are connecting virtually, as you will see as we proceed from all locations all over the world and also within Nigeria. But of course, I've done my bit, but to give us a welcome address will be the Intercontinental Music Director for the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Kunle Ajayi. Thank you very much. Um, we want to thank God for this year's um, Marathon Messiah's Praise. On behalf of my daddy and our daddy, Daddy Gio, I want to welcome everyone to this 10th year edition of the Marathon Messiah's Praise. You're all welcome. God bless you. Uh, thank you very much. I feel even much more welcome having heard that from Pastor Kunle Ajayi. Uh, but right now, of course, he would also give us... Uh, the press statement for this year's edition of the Marathon Messiah Spray. This is where all of your attention is needed as we will be taking questions after this. 79 years of God's faithfulness, Marathon Messiah Praise was born from a desire to gather men from all walks of life and different nations to celebrate God over the, the life of our dear, daddy Gio and to engineer a new dispensation of praise. From the inception of Marathon Messiah's praise in 2012 to the ninth edition in 2020, there has been an overwhelming amount of testimonies and positive reviews, and evidence that Christ alone is glorified. Indeed, Marathon Messiah's praise has received nothing but God's mercy, and this year, she owes her 10th edition 
in 30 countries, Nigeria being the oldest country, all this springing up from acknowledging God's faithfulness in the life of an icon who recently celebrated 40 years as the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. E. Adeboye. Mahato Mizar's praise is a globally renowned interdenominational gospel musical event of non-stop praises, worship, and prayers. It is a specific numbers of hours where sons and daughters of God comes together to appreciate God's mercy and faithfulness to the world. The number of hours are very significant as they symbolize the number of years Pastor Enoch Adijari Adeboye has spent on earth. The first edition of Marathon Mizar's Praise was held in 2012, when Daddy clocked 17 years. This year, we are celebrating 79 years of amazing grace in his life, while also marking 10 years of successful, success, abundant, and all-round progress of Marathon Mizar's Praise. This 10th edition is Team Behold the King. It's scheduled to hold from 1st to 4th of March 2021 in 30 countries across six continents. Over the years, the event has witnessed stupendous growth in scope, impact, and reach. There was growth in the number of participants, and the venue changed from the youth center to the prayer foyer, new auditorium, Shimawa, to accommodate the increase. Last year, participating countries also leaped from four countries in 2014 to 30 in 2021. Mahatma Mizar Praise has also increased its influence from music to include prayers, evangelism, and CSR. Important details about the 10th edition of this event, 79 Hours Mizar, Marathon Mizar's Praise. Countries that will be participating this year include Nigeria, United States of America, Canada, England, Australia, Spain, Scotland, United Arab Emirates, Cameroon, Kenya, Netherlands, Sweden, Malaysia, South Africa, Highland, Ukraine, Brazil, Israel, Zambia, Ghana, and New Zealand. Our pursuit of bringing Marathon Mizar Praise to the doorstep of every woman on health can only be accomplished via increasing the number of participating countries. Seven hours Mizar Praise hold between 8 a.m. GMT plus one Monday, 1st March, and 3 p.m. GMT plus one Thursday, 4th March. 2021 at the prayer foyer of the 3x3 Auditorium Redemption Camp, Lagos, Nigeria. This year, over 150 worship ministers and choral groups will be ministering across the 30 participating countries. Team Sotreya was launched at the 8th edition of the program in 2019 77 hours Mizar, Marathon Mizar's praise. And it has since become a major arm of Marathon Mizar's praise where we have people gathered to pray before and during the event. They also go out on evangelism while the program is on. As part of this year's edition, the team will be available for prayer and counseling with, dead, with a dedicated call in line for the general public. There will be one stream which we fully cover both Nigeria and other countries. The single stream can be watched on Dove TV, RTM, X2D, iImpact TV, and on YouTube from our website, www.mmpress.org. Our online audience can follow us live on our various social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, 
at the MM Prince. Dove Television Channel 349 on DSTV. We'll be streaming live as we behold the king. Every year gets better than the previous. And we believe that this year's Marathon Messiah Prince will be the best. There will be miracles, healings, expression of the gifts of the Spirit, revelation, peace, repentance, and understanding of who the king is, and men's authority as kings in this world. This is not an event to miss. Prepare your heart, wherever you are, to be a part of this glorious and special praise convocation. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Kunle Ajayi, for giving us that beautiful statement as it concerns the Marathon Messiah's Praise, with a special focus on the 10th year edition and even as we prepare to behold the King. Of course, uh, before we get um, the release of this uh, statement in different copies after now, I would like to take some contributory input uh, from our stakeholders. I'd like to start with the uh, personal assistant to the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Leke Adeboy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Also known as the son of the celebrant. Um, I actually, you know, seeing what it is that is going on in the world around us nowadays, um, you know, some people are locked down, some are experiencing the whole COVID issue one way or the other. Um, you you actually see that this gives us an opportunity to connect across board. I'm seeing Israel there. In Israel right now, they have, um, they're doing heavy vaccination as almost 60%, uh, 70% of their whole nation already being covered. But still, they can't go anywhere. Um, they're still within their nations. Um, if you're traveling to, to England right now, you'll have to spend the amount of days, even 14 days in, in quarantine in an hotel. Um, if you're not in the Schengen states, you can't come into it from outside of it. So we're now in a situation where um, we have no choice but to fill our time uh, and then actually enjoy every single thing that we normally would have you know, taken for granted. So opportunity to actually reach people across various um, uh, parts of the world praises and even joining knowing that you're not the only one because right now our mental health state is so important uh, and then i've finally been able to do something that um you would have normally done year in year out but this time around you're doing it with the same people but virtually opportunity to bring them live into your home set up your sound system so that it would sound like as if you are actually on the ground as loud as possible um, and then this is non-stop. So, you know, as long as the data is there, as long as, you know, you have electricity, um, you are, you know, or have some sort of device, you are able to plug in and just leave it on. Let what is being sung come into your house, into your system, into your place, and just feel it from corner to corner. So, and then, you know, because the Spirit of God lives inside the music as well and inside the Word, as it's being done, it just, those spirits just comes in through the devices and, and settle into your home and use the opportunity to chase out all the things that uh, certain uh, other hands of media has brought into your home. I won't mention anything that has a flick in it or not, a Bridgeting or not. So, you can get an opportunity to have a spiritual cleansing as well. All right, okay. So that is it from uh, Pastor Leke Adeboye, a personal assistant to General Overseer, also known as Son of the Celebrant. Of course, you all heard that from him. Uh, of course, I'm going to take another contribution from uh, the Managing Director of Dove Television, Pastor Dili. Okay. Oh, thank you. Well, um, let me say straight away that by the grace of God, Dove Television is ready for this event. Uh, let me also assure you that uh, <laughs> I, I want to be a little bit original. MTN says uh, wherever you go, you find MTN there. I want to assure you that wherever you are, on the face of this of this art, you can access those television. Those television is uh, running on twenty platforms, twenty platforms, and then of course we have our Open Heavens TV, OHTV. 
split into, into four. Um, we have OH, OH Prime Africa, OH Prime Europe, OH Prime North America, and then of course OH Prime Entertainment. I don't know. Um, I don't know whether I want to read all of those 20, 20 um, pla platforms to you, but I can assure you that if you if you if you link up onto Dove, you will not you will not regret doing that. Um, I think for now. Wherever you are, beautiful assurance there by Pastor Dilly okay, that wherever you are in the whole world, as long as you make that conscious choice to link up to any of those platforms through Dove TV, then you're not going to regret that choice because you will not miss any moment of the entire stretch of the 79 Hours Marathon Messiah's Praise. Uh, of course, I'd like to take um, one final contribution from the project coordinator of Marathon Messiah's Praise, Pastor Olua Femi Oyetune. All right, thank you so much, uh, Helgi. Uh, by the special grace of God, uh, Marathon Messiah's Praise um, this year is going to be live but virtual. And when I say live but virtual, it means uh, all worship ministers will be ministering live, uh, but because we are also taking into cognizance the fact that uh, we need to protect ourselves and we also need to take care of the health of other people. Uh, it will be virtual for all participants. That, what that means is that if you want to watch, you want to be part of it, you can only be part of it virtually. But all the administrations will be live and uh, across all the other nations outside Nigeria, uh, we'll be having it um, virtual for them. And some also, for example, New Zealand um, does not have COVID. They, are not man they don't have a single case of COVID at the moment. Uh, their own administration in New Zealand is going to be live. So all hands are on deck to ensure that we have a wonderful program that uh, at the end of it, if you ask God that what is God's yardstick of measuring the success of any program, he will say this is a program in which I am well pleased. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful one there. Beautiful one there from uh, Pastor Femi Oye Tunde uh, with that uh, update that it is going to be virtual for you, but then it's going to be live for the ministers. Uh, so much that I really, really would love to do to be in New Zealand right now. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they are not, they, they've managed the pandemic and everybody is just doing what they want to do, all right? So, Marathon is as praise they will probably not be as restricted as it is here for us. But regardless, whether restricted or not, we rise above the pandemic, we rise above um, what lies before us, and we focus on what is ahead. And that is why Marathon is as praise at its 10th edition, will be both virtual and live. Um, you see, we for this press conference, we have some of our, our contributors um, in the diaspora who are those who are not in Nigeria. And we have a lot of people, a lot of other ministers who are also in Nigeria, but who are here connected uh, on the platform. And um, so I'd like to uh, ask uh, from one of our people, one of our ministers uh, from Ghana, uh, that is Minister... Richmond Gansa. Minister Richmond Gansa, how are you doing today? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm good. Can you hear me? Uh, you are the project coordinator of Marathon Mizas Praise in Ghana. Am I right? You're correct. You're right. All right. So tell us, as project coordinator for Marathon Mizas Praise in Ghana, how many Marathon Mizas Praise events have your country participated in and how has the experience been? Well, I. I can say we have been part of it for three times now, but I've been actively involved for the last um, two, that's last year, and this uh, present one. And um, I want to say this because it has been on the you know, you know, you know, you know, situation all together. Last year was live. Last year this year on the virtual one. So it has been a great experience um, for me here in Ghana. Even in Ghana, it has been a great experience for both the project coordinator and everyone who has been a partaker of the Marathon Messiah's Praise. I'd like to ask uh, Pastor Adefemi from Canada. Pastor Adefemi from Canada. Pastor Adefemi from 
Canada. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Pastor Adifemi from Canada. God bless you. Thank you very much for joining in today. Well, bless God. So, now, um, Canada being Canada, I know a lot of Nigerian youth understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, um, about 79 hours marathon, Mr. Asprey, what steps have you taken to ensure the success of this year's event in our country, I mean, in your country, Canada, and what are your expectations for this year's edition? Thank you very much, sir. Um, Canada being Canada, just like you rightly said, um, we are super excited for being a part of this again this year. Uh, we have been a part of this for the last uh, four to five years. This year will be the fifth year. And uh, to the glory of God, we are doing it differently this year in the sense that uh, we couldn't gather people physically as we always do. So we have done a lot of publicity on social media, which is the only platform available for us to leverage right now because there's lockdown, uh, physical uh, gatherings are limited. So we are depending on God through the social media to reach out to people. And uh, the music ministers from Canada have gone to studios, to the uh, churches to do the recordings. And we are expectantly waiting for March 1st to roll in and be a part of this global phenomenon. Thank you. And um, I look at the flag of Canada, I see red. But once I have heard from this amazing project coordinator over there, all I see is green, telling me Canada is absolutely ready to go. And um, so from there, I'm going to ask um, someone uh, who is also uh, one of our coordinators in the diaspora for Marathon Mizar's Praise, and I'm going to the nation where lockdown is a teen of the past, New Zealand. Dr. Samo. Dr. Samo, Dr. Samo from New Zealand, are you there? Live and clear, I can hear you loud and clear. How many editions of these events have you participated in and what is the experience like? All right, uh, this is our third. This is our third um, and we're excited and it's been a phenomenal experience. We've seen people being healed as a result of um, the Marathon Messiah's praise. We've seen people experience breakthroughs, have various testimonies. We've seen us collaborate even with people who are uh, 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 part of the indigenous here. And it's literally been expanding since we started. And we trust God that it's only going to just um, be better. That is, uh, that, that, that is very, very good to know. That is very good to know. I'd like to uh, now check with uh, Connection in Sweden. Uh, Sister Lara Ayodele. Sister Lara Ayodele, um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well. And greetings to everybody in the studio. I can see all my bosses, so good afternoon to everybody. With a look at the restrictions in your country, how have you been able to handle these restrictions while you're planning for this year's event? I would say that it... Um, it has been a bit of a challenge, but there's nothing that we can't, you know, do through Christ because um, in, we've had lockdowns, we've had um, people in isolation, we've had all sorts of things happening and we've had quite a few limitations. But um, thankfully, in because um, we're doing four nations, it's not just Sweden, actually, I'm representing Europe Region 3, which has um, and we're ministering in Sweden, Ukraine, Russia and Poland. and. Thankfully, some just as we started preparing, some of our nations were coming out of lockdown. However, some were going into lockdown, but it has been great for us. I would say, firstly, um, as a, as a nation, or as oh, well, we're not a nation, we're nations. But as nations, it's been really good for us because it's been like a bridge builder between our nations. So we would usually have gathered in Sweden or gathered in Ukraine or somewhere else. But um, the opportunity has risen for people to come in from other nations like Denmark, um, um, Finland. So neighboring nations and people are building relationships through that. That's number one. And obviously for the church as well, we've experienced growth. We've, we've been able to um, also relate with indigents of the nations that we're in because music is um, music music is language less basically it's music is the language so everybody whether you speak um, Swedish or or you're speaking French or you're speaking Danish or you're speaking Polish whatever it is music has one language so it has been able to bring us together 
And all I can say is we're ready. We're expectant. It's going to be the best yet. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, um, I mean, I wish uh, this was a haul. I would have given you a beautiful round of applause right there because um, this is, is it's really great to know uh, that we are now taking the Marathon Mizar Sprays, being music, understanding that music is, you know, it goes even beyond language. Music is as long as you can feel something. And we're taking it to uh, the grassroots uh, where we are, Polish, Danish, English, Swedish, Ukrainian, Russian, whatever-ish you are, you will be fine with the Marathon Mizar Sprays holding in your country. Um, at this point... We have um, heard from a handful of our diaspora coordinators, and it just tells us that it is as global as it can get. Uh, we, have, uh, we have some of our other people who are uh, part of the press corps, media partners who are here online with us for this uh, press conference. And I'd like to check, uh, Mr. Azuka, are you on there? Azuka has a few questions from... Uh, media outfits and partners outside of, uh, outside of uh, the space we're in right now. Azuka has some questions for uh, our stakeholders. So Azuka, over to you for the questions for the stakeholders. My name is Azuka Onguzo. I'm a journalist, uh, the media consultant for this uh, great uh, event. Uh, Pastor Kuli, Pastor Femi, uh, I'm happy to see everybody once again. Uh, thank God we are alive. Uh, the COVID came and, you know, but to the glory of God, COVID cannot hold us back. Uh, I want to, I want to ask, uh, Pastor Femi, the project coordinator, um, what, what should we expect differently from, uh, from this, uh, from this project? What should we expect? What are those unique things that, you know, we've been doing it for years. This year, uh, I know it's virtual, but what should we expect from this year edition? Then from Pastor Kunle, uh, Pastor Kunle Ajayi, how has this event helped to create and nurture, uh, you know, worshippers to become superstars and mega stars for Christ? You know, how has the church, uh, you know, uh, explore uh, Marathon Mezar praise to nurture and to grow, um, you know, to grow uh, uh, worshippers and to make them global uh, global star? Then, uh, Pastor Pastor Leke, Pastor Leke. Uh, the plans, you know, during, during the, the, the planning, because I myself, I was thinking that is not going to, you know, the event will not hold, right? But I'm surprised that the event uh, is, is holding. So how is there any plan to reach out to, many, to, to other countries? Because like every year, the country seems, uh, it seems, uh, you know, it keep increasing, it keep increasing, it keep, it keep increasing. When I thought that We've gotten there. But <laughs> then there's things like we've gone to another place, you know, it keeps expanding over the years. So are there plans to see get other countries involved in this uh, great uh, this great event? So those are my questions. Thank you very much, Azuka. The stakeholders will now take a question. Please, uh, if you belong to part of the press group that and you are online now, if you're connected on the platform, I'd like you to just drop a message or indicate so that I can take your questions. But thank you very much, Azuka. You've asked very comprehensive questions, and I'm sure you've spoken the mind of a lot of other people as well. So I'll let the stakeholders uh, take the questions. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, in answering uh, Azuka's question, um, Azuka asked that what are we doing differently this year? This year is going to be so awesome and so different. You know that every year always come comes up with uh, something very new. Uh, this year we'll be breaking the whole session into seven. So that means you have an average of uh, 10 hours plus to, uh, to make this 79, 10 hours plus to make a session. So what we're doing differently this year is that each session is actually themed after one of the attributes of God. We are looking at, for example, maybe the first hour will be we are focused on the mercy of God upon the life of Daddy Gio. We are focused on the mercy of God upon the life of Daddy Gio. That means for these 10 hours, most of the song that we'll be singing, most of the things that we'll be doing will be focused and centered around the mercy 
of God. And even in between the 10 hours, um, uh, the 10 hours that makes a session, there is a portion in which we created uh, an avenue for a spontaneous session in which things about the mercy of God, new songs will come up even during that time by the special grace of God. We'll be looking at the mercy of God, the faithfulness of God, God being Jehovah El Shaddai for another 10 hours, uh, God being uh, Jehovah um, Nisi for another 10 hours. We are looking at all those things and we bring out the riches and the goodness of God from the scripture and we sing it in song and we give glory to God for the life of our daddy. Pastor wow. here, Hadiboye. Thank wow. you. Tell me about something being different. I really think there's nothing that should happen after the year 2020 and it should not be different because it changed a whole lot of things. So everything right now is different, right? Okay, so um, I also know that Azuka asked a question. Uh, um, I think that question was for Pastor Kunle Ajayi, that how has the church been able to nurture and nourish uh, ministers to move from the level where they are in their careers to mega superstars, as he put it. But of course, we'd like to hear from Pastor Kunle Ajayi um, on that um, note. Praise the name of God. Through the help of this um, marathon is our praise. We've seen that most of the artists now, they realize more, they want to learn more. And you could see that the church, when you talk about the church now, for example, our CCG, we have a, what we call One Hallelujah Records. And Mona Lea Records actually have been promoting artists. Been sending, even some of the artists there, they've been sent abroad. They've been to Spain, some have been to Ethiopia, and the church is just trying to help them the more and to get better. And you could see that even through the Mount of Mizar praise, you could say a lot of them are rehearsed more. They are looking forward to this Mount of Mizar praise. And they get, they get better. But church, for example, like I said, like one and a record, the church puts in a lot of millions of naira to, to, to help the artists the and then send them out for seminars, for all kind of things. So the church is really doing, doing its part oh, in making yes. that happen. All right, okay. so that is it there. The church continues to do its part in making things happen, both through its uh, independent projects and also through the Marathon Messiah's Praise. For sure, people have grown with the Marathon Messiah's Praise and even beyond the Marathon Messiah's Praise. So, uh, Pastor Lake, yes, sir. Azuka was actually thinking the event would not hold. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's thinking that. But then he was surprised that the event would hold. <laughs> and now that the event is holding, yeah. how are you reaching out to all the other places in the world? Um, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's my, my boss, the brainchild, and also the project uh, creator and under, uh, um, Pastor Femi. Um, he has been pushing for this. Um, if anything, is even, we are actually being limited because the reach of the mission of CCG is uh, over 190 nations. Mm -hmm. And if we are clocking just, what, 13 nations this year, which means we, we have a, a long way to go. And I'm looking for a time, I mean, to appreciate the people that, are, that have been awake. I mean, if you Google right now, find out what the time is in New Zealand, you realize that it's sacrifice for him to still be up because they're already in tomorrow um, and almost halfway <laughs> through their own um, morning. And then, of course, the, our brother from Canada. So, but then we, this, the, 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 the aim eventually would be to have um, indigents as a program coordinator, um, you know, for several nations um, across board, and then of course to also have the opportunity in which um, we eventually get this day and this time uh, that we do this event. You know, the ending of uh, of February to to the beginning of March uh, to actually then become a national days of praise across the whole world. Um, so it will be stamped in by United Nations, stamped in by African Union, stamped in by anyone else that has any form of union in their system um, so that the world would actually know just as you celebrate Christmas, as you celebrate Easter, you would actually celebrate um, a series of days where 
you know, it would be a bank holiday, it would be an um, off-work day where people would just worship and praise God. And we're starting slowly, we clocked in 30 years. We're slightly behind schedule because hopefully by next year, we should be able to get to 80 nations across the world with their own indigenous singing their own songs, not, um, not just uh, Nigerians, but obviously you have to have your own on the inside before you start. So, yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Lake. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Kunle Ajayi. Thank you very much, Pastor Femi Oyetunde. And thank you very much, Pastor Daly. Uh, I believe that um, a lot of questions that you may have, some of them may have been summarized in uh, the few that have been asked. But before we bring this to a close, I would like to ask, um, uh, first of all, I'd like to appreciate uh, our wonderful ministers that are here with us, uh, Tosin B. Yeah, thank you very much for joining in. Ife Nathan, thank you very much for joining us here with us. Eniola Olusoga, we really appreciate you for being here. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Tim Godfrey, Peter Sinokopi, you know, thank you very much. Demitaya Adubi, T Worship, thank you everyone for joining in. However, I have a question here um, that uh, I want to ask before we get to bring this to a close. Uh, the, the press release talks about Team Soteria. I want to ask... Team Soteria, how does it combine prayer for 79 hours with evangelism? Uh, would the members not participate in the prayer sessions? Uh, does so Team Soteria hold in diaspora? Because we've, we've talked a lot about um, how this happens in the diaspora. And then if not, are there plans to you know, spread Team Soteria as much as the Marathon Messiah's praise has spread? I want to say thank you so much. Uh, Team Soteria is actually uh, more of a prayer and evangelistic uh, evangelism team of uh, marathon praise. Uh, what they uh, usually do is that uh, prior to uh, the beginning of the, pro the, the program, uh, they come in three days before to prepare in teaching, in prayer, and even during the program, uh, they keep going and they take prayers they take the prayers in, uh, uh, in batches. What does that mean? It means people are scheduled to pray for certain hours while some other people are resting. They are either resting or maybe they are joining other people to worship. But don't forget that this year is, uh, is live, but it's virtual for participants. So what, that will be, what will be happening uh, at the same time when they are supposed to be resting is that uh, they go to correctional uh, facilities, uh, they go to secondary school, primary school to go and evangelize and to go and share the word, uh, to share the word of uh, Christ with them. So that's what Team Soterra is all about. And uh, so far, so good. We've been having people coming from other nations saying that they also want to have uh, this kind of thing to, to, be, uh, to come to their country to hold um, teaching and pray long prayer sessions um, with them. But for 79 solid hours, there will be prayer chain that is not going to stop throughout. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Pastor Femi Oyetunde. I think with what we have heard from all of our stakeholders, it is not just about the sound, about what you hear. It is about the matters of the heart. And that is why Tim Soteria focuses on the heart of the matter, which is why praise is going on. The souls are being targeted and the souls are being brought in to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. So as we behold his glory, Yes, as we behold his glory, as we behold the king, as we anticipate the marathon, Messiah's praise, endeavor to stay tuned to Dove Television. Make sure you do not miss out anything. And for this press conference, again, I want to say thank you to our stakeholders. Thank you to everyone who has joined in online. We say God bless you. And even as you minister, as you look forward to the day, may the king manifest himself indeed in your environments in Jesus' name. And um, on this point, uh, on this note rather, I'd like to call on uh, Pastor Liki Adeboye to give us the closing remarks as we bring this session to a close. Okay. Um, I literally just want to appreciate everybody that uh, has taken their time out to, um, you know, make themselves available from the press uh, call to the, to the ministers, um, for those who were mentioned, for those who um didn't get to mention we really really appreciate you um thank you so so much for doing this with us year in year out 
We pray that um, you know you two will be celebrated, and uh, the least any of us will get to is the same age we are celebrating right now, which is uh, 79. And as it clocks, as it goes higher to 80, to 90, uh, to 100, so Amen. shall our Amen. own days also Amen. be in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Um, and obviously to all the coordinators and the chapter holders across the world, um, we really, really appreciate you as well. Um, as you are receiving uh, free uh, uh, physical vaccination, we will be receiving the spiritual ones because we know that uh, over here, we might not all be able to uh, afford the vaccination, but God will cover us in Jesus' name. Amen. And until uh, we meet again, um, I pray that these praises that we are offering to God, He would accept them Amen. and um, it will send us the blessings across board in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Leke. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, viewers at home, Nigeria and all across the world, uh, I say thank you very much for joining us for this virtual global press conference for the Marathon Messiah's Praise, the 79 hour Marathon Messiah's Praise, where we are trusting that we will behold the King. And as we bring this to a close, my name is Olalekon Adeshino, and I'd like to ask Pastor Kone Ajayi to take the closing prayer. Let us pray. Our eternal Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you glory. We give you honor and adoration. We thank you for today's uh, press conference. Father, Lord, I say about thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the life of our daddy. Father, Lord God, we pray that, Lord, as he moves higher in age, as he increases in age, Father, we pray that your glory will increase the more in him, in the name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone that is celebrating our daddy, let your glory fill everyone. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Stay tuned to Dove TV from now till the end of 79 Hours Marathon Messiah's Praise. Once again, my name is Olali Kondishina.